In this problem, we're given the position function, and we have to find the velocity function, v, the speed function, and the acceleration function. Let's go ahead and work through it. So, solution. So, to find the velocity function, all we have to do is take the derivative of position. So, the velocity, v of t, is equal to the derivative of r. So taking the derivative of t, we just get 1, so that'll be i hat, plus the derivative of t squared is 2t, so 2t j hat. And this derivative here will be 2t over 2, using the power rule, so we just get t, so plus t k hat. And that would be the velocity vector valued function. To find the speed, recall that the speed is the magnitude of velocity. So speed is equal to the magnitude of the velocity. So the magnitude formula says you take the square root and you square each of the components. So here there's a 1, so it'll be 1 squared plus and then 2t squared plus and then t squared. So this is equal to the square root of 1 plus, so 2t squared is just 4t squared, and then we have another t squared. So this is going to be the square root of 1 plus, and then 4t squared plus t squared is just 5t squared. So that would be the speed. So the speed is a function of time, and it's equal to 1 plus 5t squared. So that would be the speed. The acceleration is the derivative of velocity. It's the rate of change of the velocity. So to find the acceleration, you just differentiate the velocity. So differentiating the 1, we would get 0 i hat. Differentiating 2t, we would simply get 2j hat. And differentiating the t, we would get 1k hat. No one leaves their answers like this, so let's just write it as 2j hat plus k hat. Good stuff. And there's our x, x acceleration, <laughs> the acceleration vector valued function. Let's just double check that. The derivative of 1 is 0, gone. Derivative of 2t is 2, so we get 2j hat. Derivative of t is 1, so we get k hat. Everything looks good. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.